Hello again, YouTube, and I'm back with this uh, video here for the, uh, for the folks out there that may have some questions about this particular cell, uh, these cells that I'm working with, trying to uh, recondition. As you can see here, this is a Edison cell. It's a nickel cadmium cell, and you can kind of look and see some of the crap that's in there, right? And this is what I have to contend with, okay? If you look at the bottom, you know, there's a bunch of goop at the bottom, and there's some crap on the sides. And you can look at the cell itself. It is translucent, but it's not that translucent. And um, it's not really, and this cell right here generally is about maybe 15 inches high, about, you know, six inches, uh, you know, wide at the front, and about four inches wide on the side. So, and as far as the weight, um, it's about 20 or 30 pounds filled with stuff in it. Um, I mean, they're really not heavy at all. And I mean, you can kind of just see from my hand perspective, I mean, uh, you, know, you know, how big these things are. So they're really easy to deal with. And uh, also, now, these are, I believe these are, after talking to Yankee Ford, I believe these are telecom. These cells were used in the telecom industry as, you know, backup batteries or backup systems there because um, they're not really damaged and you know they're from the, the outside casing I mean they're fine they even the inner uh, plate uh, without besides all the crap that's in there uh, other, other than that I mean it's fine that line that goes across there is some uh, some goop some oil or something some of these a lot of these cells have oil in them and you know sometimes people put oil in the cells to kind of keep from having to change the electrolyte out a lot the oil forms a barrier or should form a barrier uh, at, up at the top. There may be uh, maybe a, an eighth of an inch uh, of oil that sits on top of the water and that keeps uh, keeps it from getting carbon dioxide inside of the water uh, to you know mess up the plates and it keeps you from having to uh, change out the electrolytes so often. However, the bad thing is you know if the batteries are not taken care of the oil can get on the plates and kind of, you know, pollute the system, so to speak. So um, I'm kind of debating about getting that, but, you know, maybe later, because this will be stationary, it won't be moving around or anything. Um, they were stationary in the telecom side of things, but when people pulled them out and moved them and kind of sloshed them around, I'm sure that kind of, you know, caused some grief. Um, also, these batteries, some of them, when they came together, they came together... Uh, if you can look right here, you can see the LT. I believe, I'm not sure, uh, after talking to Yankee 4 again, I think this meant telecom or something like that. And you can see the batteries, they, some of them came in, the, in packs of four. This is the original connector that came with it, or, or these are. And the batteries are connected with these clips, and they have these handles. Now, together, these things are they're huge, they're, they're heavy. Uh, but I usually just, I just break the clips off. And what I do, I break the clips, I uh, you know, take this off too, and then I have individual cells to work with. Now, these are the cells, originally, if I put, you know, a multimeter probe on both of the, on these terminals, individual terminals, then they were, they were zero volts. And so, and, you know, and these are the caps. You can see that the caps are a little different. And maybe because, you know, the age of these particular batteries are a little different. Um... Like the age here, okay, these are, this is, was 1989, so they're right around the same age of, of all the other. So these are eight, the, all of these cells appear to be um, manufactured in 1989, so they're really, really close. Yeah, all of these, these four cells here are all, were all manufactured in 1989. But anyway, this is what they look like. You can see um, there's no real, you know, right, crazy writing on it or anything. Um, on, the, on the back here, you can see, hey, do not use acid in this battery. Um, I don't know if there's any other writing except for on the side. <clears throat> yeah, you can see, you know, where it came from. Uh, nickel cadmium storage battery. And so, yeah, these are in, uh, produced in Greenville, North Carolina, or something like that. <laughs> okay. All right. So these are the cells for, for all of you folks that are kind of curious about, you know, what they look like and, you know, the before and, the, and after. And uh, you can see I have, a, I'm charging the other one. 
and it's you know it's, it's right now at 30 it's taking 30 amps um, and I'm trying to get it to 1.9 volts so it may take a little while but that's fine I'll just leave, let it charge all night so okay YouTube uh, so that's the information about these cells okay take care